What's the matter, baby? What's the matter, Jeff? You okay? You okay, baby? Yeah? Let me see the inside of your mouth. You want me to see the inside of your mouth? No? No, oh, no. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. This is a sweet boy. Um, last time I talked to you guys, I was in Roswell. And um, from there, I went to Carlsbad for four days. Four beautiful 70-degree days. And um, I just basked in the sun and thought out is <laughs> basically what I did. It was wonderful. But I ended up going back to Roswell. The thing is, uh, I took Sammy to a vet there last October when he was really sick. And uh, I decided that Jeff needed to go to see the vet again because I didn't know what was going on. The vet in St. Louis was pretty much stumped when the extractions didn't work. So she just put him in a second round of medicine and I'm not there for her to look at him again. So I needed to find another vet. I decided to take him to the clinic I had taken Sammy to. It's a nice place and um, they have walk-in hours. So it was very convenient. So Jeff and I went to the vet again last week uh, right off, the doctor there told me that um, uh, that the extractions only help a very small percentage of cats. That if if it doesn't help, if it doesn't cure him, then he's going to have it the rest of his life, and that's pretty much the way it is. Um, so he just has to take medicine the rest of his life. There's some good news. First of all. It's not a big deal. I, him and I can handle that. But um, the the good news, the really good news, is he gets to keep his canines. The other doctor said he might have to have them taken out. This guy said, no, don't bother. You know, if if taking all those molars out where, where all the bacteria came, comes in, if that didn't help, then, then taking those four canines out isn't going to help. And that's good news for Jeff because when him and Mabel get in fights, play fights. They like to wrestle. He needs some, some like little pinchers and <laughs> give her a little pinch or she'll take complete advantage of him. Ain't that right, Bubba? Yeah. So he gets to keep those. And he's kind of cute with those little fangs hanging down. Um, so another good thing is I control his medication. So um, if he needs uh, his his dose doubled, which is actually a full dose once a day. I decide um, if he has a flare up, I can give him more. If uh, he seems to be doing better and everything, then I can I can cut back his dose. Every time I've cut back his dose so far, he's had a flare up. So I don't know. They they said he's just really he's going to have issues with this. <laughs> you know, so. Uh, Poor Bubba. He's just such a sweet boy. You are. You are sweet. Anyway, I'm going to show him to you here. Let's see. Chaffee, where are you? How do you turn this? There. Hi, puppy. Hi. You're such a good boy. Anywho, let me get this adjusted here. Hey, that shouldn't be sticking out there. Okay, so that's with Jeff. Jeff, um, oh, and I can I can get the medication anywhere, any pharmacy I want. I don't have to go through online things. I told him I don't have an address. I don't want to deal with that. So he's going to just, any time I want, anywhere I want, just call and have it sent to a pharmacy, which is really cool. Okay, onward. Um, while I was at Carlsbad and basking in the sun, I decided to work on my solar so I could get it to charge the battery on the scamp. And I did it, <laughs> finally. It's a big deal. I was 
almost given up. I thought, well, I'll just won't have any electricity in the scamp. I'll just bring my Jackery in here, but I won't have any refrigerator, freezer. I won't be able to run the fan, which I have to be able to run the fan. So I, I would have had to find somebody to help me with it eventually. I have to run that fan when it gets hot out. And uh, if I wanted heat in the, at night, I have propane, but I also have it to have electricity in the battery to run the fan. So, uh, luckily, it all worked out. I, I, and the cool thing is I did it myself. I figured it all out myself. It took me a month and a half, but I did figure it out. And if it gets nice enough on a consistent basis, I'll show you what I did. I really was just piecing it together the way I thought it should go. And, and it ended up working, so that's cool. Um, you know, I always have notes here. So I do have solar in my, for my van now, or excuse me, for my scamp. That's so cool. The other thing is I got my garden going and here is a picture of it. I won't go into a lot of explanation on what you're seeing there because it's just dirt in pots right now. <laughs> nothing, nothing has come up yet. So I will say that I planted peas, I planted lettuces, uh, spinach, arugula, spinach, arugula, uh, and some mustards, I think. Oh, and green onions. So that's, we'll talk about that more. I am going to a spot here at the end of the week that should start running about 60 degrees constantly during the day. So uh, those little lovelies are gonna wanna pop their little heads up out of the soil. Then. So we'll talk more about that then. And the last subject, oh, where I am right now. Did I say where I am right now? I'm in Alamogordo. Okay, just outside of there at the state park there. I, uh, Oliver Lee Memorial State Park, I believe. I went into town yesterday, went to the Walmart, went to two thrift stores, and uh, really enjoyed, you know, I do that every time I go to town. I just really enjoy going to those. I, uh, by the way, I don't buy things necessarily when I go there. I'm always just trying to look for just the perfect, you know, just the perfect thing or find something I really like. I, I Sometimes I, I'll go to five or six different stores and never buy anything because I don't have a lot of room to put anything. But, um, yeah, I'll be leaving here in a couple of days. The place I'm going to is going to be really nice weather. And um, I will throw in here real quick that I told you that I, I might change my mind about going to Arizona. And guess what? I did. I'm not going. It's financial reasons. That's purely the reason why. And reality check and I'm not going but I have about 10 different state parks here I'm looking down <laughs> I'm not sure that I have about 10 state parks here that I have not been to that I will be going to here in the next few months on my way up into the mountains again so I'm real excited about that seeing the different campgrounds the different campsites well, you know and all that so that's going to be neat that is about it now. I went out yesterday before the winds really kicked up. It was kind of windy, so I, I didn't talk on the videos, but I did go out and videotape some place called Frenchie's Cabin. That's some ruins of a settler here, and also some an Indian site that was pretty interesting. And um, I'll let you guys watch that. And then this morning I went out and did a view from my campground of where I am right now. I thought you would enjoy seeing that. It's very beautiful here. I wish I was staying longer, but I have other places to go. So uh, enjoy. I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.
here is a view from the campground I'm at right now. This is Oliver Lee State Park and beyond. It's absolutely beautiful here. Definitely one of my top three right now. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go for now. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.